All right, we're here with Madeline, our next uniform cut. This is going to be six inches all over her head form. And the way I'm gonna start is right here in the front, and I've measured this. This is approximately six inches. Now, the nice thing with this, with her hair this length, six inches all over, she'll have a really uh, disconnected haircut with just following our formula through for the uniform cut. So it doesn't have to be a shortcut to be uniform. We can do it longer. So what I'll do is start right in the front area and we'll measure the area in the front. Okay, very little to come off. Then I just take another section in back of it, bring it straight to that because this will be using a traveling guide which creates the light layers throughout the head form. Now let me turn her because I've traveled back on the head form uh, to two uh, uh, partings and we're going back one more. Bring that to there straight up from the head form. This is going to be terrific because Madeline's hair has a little curl in it so it really will be great for that to encourage it. Six inches all the way up. Let's take and point this just a little. We want to encourage that curl so I'll go back and point cut just a little. But just working right through the head form right through. I'm at the top of the head now. I've traveled all the way back. Another section starting into the curve of the head and measuring as I go six inches. Now let's come back to the middle part because this sets the pace for my entire haircut all the way around. We're going to do slightly off center because that's where that wants to part and let's go right around the hairline and we're going to come six inches out, 90 degrees, all over the head, right around. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Okay, right at the bottom, this is where a lot of times you're tempted to drop that elevation. Don't do it. Come straight out from the head form. Travel one section back. One section back using my guide from the top, coming out 90 degrees from the head form. You can see that as I go. Don't drop the elevation at the bottom. Walk it right through. Get another space back, another section back. Traveling back one more section. Straight out from the headboard, 90 degrees. And don't drop the elevation. Keep that out. Lift it up and out. That's going to be good because her underneath was already about six inches. So we're taking out the in between. Now I'll work right on around until I come to the middle section of the head. Right down around to the middle section. Trying to just measure if you want to as you go. Holding the bottom up and out. Let's tilt your head just a little, Madeline. Good. And lifting that up and out, keeping it out at 90 degrees. Now we're almost in the middle section. Let's turn her around so you can see where I'm at. Starting at the top, because you don't want to drop this elevation, you'll, you'll have weight in there if you do. You want to have it continuous light layers throughout the head form out the head form right right about in the middle now so we'll start on the other side just keeping those layers consistent traveling with your guide and actually this really came out good because hers was short underneath before and longer on the top so taking that through there you can see if I comb through this side how real disconnected that's going to be I mean, we couldn't even cut it any more disconnected than that. It's going to be nice. Now, let's get start over in the front, and we'll start right here where we initially got our guide, six inches, and just straight out from the head form as we travel down the head form, making sure we're holding it straight out and not making it droopy, and just going traveling one section back, one section back, six inches out from the head, and we've almost got it. Let's turn her around just a little. So you can see we've got one more, one more quadrant to finish. 
checking as I go. If we dumped her head upside down and measured all around, it's going to be approximately six inches all over. Just traveling one section further. And we're right around to the middle now. Let's lift this out, making sure it's not dropped. One or two more sections. Starting from the top, because you want to go straight out from the head form. So you don't want to start too low. And just right on down. Lifting it out when we get to the underneath. It's very tempting to, to lower that elevation, but you don't want to do that. Let's check it out from the top down, six inches, till we run into the bottom and we don't have any more hair. Let's see, one more section and we have it. I'm right here in the center back section of the hair. And I think we have it. Tilt your head over, Madeline. Let me just shake it all out. Shake it all out. That's going to be really nice in her curl, with her curl in her hair, too. And you see, you've got a real uneven uh, part of the hair. You've got the low part, which makes it longer. You've got a shorter section. And even in here, you can see, if we comb the hair down, it's very irregular, because we're going by the hairline, the temple, then it's shorter, then it's longer. So you get a very, very disheveled, layered look. And you'll see when we dry her out, it'll be absolutely gorgeous with all this curl in her hair. And very, very lightweight layers throughout. And when we come back, she'll be all finished. You'll see her new look and her uniform cut. Here's Madeline, all finished. Now, we did have her out smooth, and for her second look, we opted to just let it go in, in its natural curl. But you can see how at random it is and how really disconnected. She's got some long pieces, and she's got short pieces. But it, the whole interior and the light layers just really, really works. Uh, it takes advantage of all her curl. If it's, if it's smooth, it looks even more disconnected. But what a nice look on Madeline. And she can even scoot it back behind her ears if she wanted to. What a pretty look that is. It looks longer. Wow, that's pretty. Back behind, it shows up those cheekbones. So what a nice cut for her. And she loves it. So that makes it even better. And this is our little uniform cut on Madeline.